Copyright 2014 Mass Diagnostics and Intervention, All Rights Reserved. We're going to take a look at the distributive property. And the distributive property looks like this. When we have three times a quantity, and in this case we're going to have three times a quantity of 2x plus 1. So we have a set of parentheses, and then we have a variable or a number outside of the set of parentheses. So what this means is that we have 3 times the quantity of 2x plus 1. Let's take a look at what that means from a pictorial representation. I have 2x plus 1, but I have it 3 times. 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1. So altogether I have 6x's, when I combine my like terms, plus 3. Now to do that in a shorthand method, what we do is we take the number and its sign and we multiply it by everything on the inside. So we're going to take the 3 and we're going to multiply it by the 2x, 3 times 2x, and we're going to add that to 3 times 1. Take the number and its sign and multiply it by everything on the inside. So now we have 6x plus 3. Notice that we ended up with the same answer no matter which way we did it. Whether we did it by taking a look at repeated additions like we did over here, or if we ended up doing it by using the distributive property over here, we ended up with 6x plus 3 both times. Let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at negative 4 times 2x plus 8. Once again, we're going to take the number and its sign and we're going to multiply it by everything on the inside of our expression, or inside of the parentheses. So I'm going to take the negative 4, I'm going to multiply it by 2x, I'm going to take the negative 4 and I'm going to multiply it by 8. So that's negative 4 times 2x plus negative 4 times 8. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x plus negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. But as mathematicians we don't like this plus minus. This is part of the keep add change for the subtraction of signed numbers and we change it back into 8x minus 32. Let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at negative 7 times negative 5x minus 9. Again, I'm going to take the number and its sign and I'm going to multiply it by everything on the inside. So I'm going to take negative 7 times negative 5x minus, from the sign right there, times negative 7 times 9. Negative 7 times negative 5x is 35x minus negative 7 times negative, uh, nine, excuse me, positive 9, negative 7 times positive 9 is negative 63. And again, we don't keep the minus minus hanging around, minus minus keep add change and we end up with 35x plus 63. So as long as you take the number and its sign and multiply it by everything on the inside for the distributive property you should be fine. Good luck!